Hi guys, Joe from Prepper in the Woods, and today I wanted to show you a tent. Now, this one, interesting, because I went to Poundland to pick up a few bits from my garden, and I saw they were selling a tent for 10 pounds. So I was like, let me pick one up, and then I'll show you what you get, but let's just test it out and see how good or bad this is. I'm not expecting a lot for 10 pounds, but let's have a look. All right, so just, for you, just so you know that I never opened this, I have nothing, no clue what to expect in it. But um, let's have a look through this together. I looked for information online, even on the Poundland website, and there is none. It doesn't even show a picture of it on the website. So, right, you have that, which I'm not sure what it is. You get poles, some rope, and some pegs, and some instructions. So, oh, another one. Let's see. Okay, so let's set this up and then see what we got. All right, so I'm just going to put it there. The grass is already dead anyway, so it's not going to be much difference. And then uh, we'll see how we get on. A two man tent, by the way. Let's just take this out. So surprisingly, uh, none of the poles snapped, as far as I noticed anyway. And that roof thing, and then I assume goes there. I might hook these on the inside and then come out that way because that looks like it would be more secure. So here you had the front, and luckily uh, it's on this side. I didn't put this this way because that'd have been an accident. But let's see, it is pretty. I even has that. I didn't even notice that. But that's all right. Let's see how big it is. Definitely fits me. Let's see, the zippers work. That works. Huh. So you'll have ventilation from the top, but also that's not pinned to anything. So you're going to have air coming up that way as well. Let's have a quick look. Right, so like I said, all the zips work. The poles are a bit thin, but that's to be expected. Um, I didn't really think they're going to be, you know, high quality. And then you have to see the gap on top there for air. Now, of course, you're going to have um, loose threads. I mean, that's going to be a given, but this is only for light showers. But you see the side. But honestly, for being Poundland, I'm uh, a bit surprised. 
thought it was going to break when I was making it or something. But not too bad. It's the back of it. So it's. And I still have uh, four pegs and a guy ropes. Um, unsure of where to hook them from because uh, there isn't any actual places to put guidelines on except for that one there and uh, that one there. There's only two spots and so now I'm just going to pull the front up. Actually it wouldn't even do anything. Right, let me just take you on the inside now and show you how that looks. So, you can see bits of light there. I mean, you're gonna see bits of lights and all the stitching here. Um, but I'm only on the one side here and you still have, honestly, a good amount of room. Oh. The outfit in it, which I'm happy about. Um, other bits here is like, you see, you're gonna have loose stitching here. Um, you can tie them open there, it's nice. But again, this is not gonna be waterproof at all. You know, it is what it is. But maybe a good kid's tent, possibly. You know, some mess around the backyard. But I'm gonna leave it up tonight. I'm supposed to have a storm tomorrow. It'll be interesting to see how it holds up in that. I reckon I'm gonna have a small pool. All right, so here we are next day. You can see that it's rained, uh, unsure how much, you can see water on the tent, let's see if there's any rips, it's also highly windy where I am, uh, tent poles seem fine, you can, see, you can see lots of water on it, let's see how wet the inside is. So you can see the level of water in here. So there's a big pool on this side. Another pool on this side. So yeah, I'm not even gonna bother going in there and looking to see how else it's wet. You can see all the water on the inside of that. I wouldn't say waterproof. So overall, what I think this is, is a very nice beach tent. Now what I would do is I would, on um, these parts here, just bring some um, like uh, shopping bags. And then when you go to the beach, just um, fill them with sand and leave them down. And then you have yourself some place where your kids could you know, get away, get into the shade, uh, get out of the wind or if they're cold or whatever, do something like that. But as an overall tent, you know, I, I probably wouldn't use this, but again, it's Poundland, so what do you expect? So I just wanna show you guys a quick video about my little tent here and uh, all its wonders. But like I said, didn't expect much, but I just wanna show you what you get when you get one. Thanks guys for watching, catch next video.